Starting in high school, I started to question, what is school for? I would look back at my brothers. They hated school. They just couldn't wait to get home and like work in the garage and take something apart and put it back together again and go speeding off on their dirt bikes. And I was like, well, why are they being forced to like endure school? I've heard so many youth say, oh, I'm just waiting to finish high school so I can start living. And I'm like, life is so precious. You need to start living now. I work for this amazing organization called Big Picture Learning, where we help uh, schools center the youth uh, around their learning. They send youth out into the community two days a week to work alongside adults around areas of their interest. And then they build the curriculum around those interests. One day I looked around after getting my pilot's license and working on these airplanes and I realized, wow, I'm like the only woman here at the airport. And there aren't very many youth. So I had been driving past this 9,600 square foot warehouse just at the entrance of Franklin County State Airport. And I thought to myself, hmm, can we make that into a hangar to train the next generation of airplane mechanics and pilots? And we are now launching a capital campaign to renovate the building and to turn it into a world-class facility that trains youth and adults who love to work with their hands in aviation maintenance. So that's the story of Habitat for Aviation. And uh, since then, it's taken off. I have this philosophy that it's not about us without us. All too often, conventional education does things to youth instead of with youth. And so I couldn't think of a better idea than to have a group of girls and women working together to build an airplane. So that size Boeing a lot. Right. We ordered a kit to build an S21, which is a little two-seat high-wing airplane. For the first time in history, a group of all women and girls are constructing an airplane. A mentor is a person who comes to deeply know you and then do, does what they can to leverage their connections, their social capital, to help you in your path, in your journey. We don't need to drill this, but these still need to be drilled because it's not the right size. My first flight was with Beth White. I was about 11, I think. We came back and I've been stuck here ever since. In Big Picture, the biggest project that we have is called the Service Thesis Project. My senior thesis project is going to be working on building a plane with Habitat for Aviation. It's been such a pleasure working with Miranda. I feel like she's grown up with me. She's kind of constant pillar of support, a mentor, and one of the big reasons I got into and am continuing with aviation. When I was diagnosed with breast cancer, Miranda was an incredible friend, and it was really beautiful to see the transition from a mentor relationship to one of a human connection. My work in the world is to start asking the really tough questions about conventional school and how we can do things differently. My name is Beth White, and this is my brief but spectacular take on breaking barriers to take flight.